Shoot! Today we're shooting the animals, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time. Oh, hang on, we got a little fuzzy here. Oh. It is that time of year. It's getting warm out here, and it's time to shear them. And we've got Steve, which is the alpaca. We got Llama Rhodes, the llama. And we got the sheep. We already starting it off early. Gonna get them sheared up, cleaned up, so that way they're feeling good in the summer heat. We don't need them having heat stroke and stuff like that. And Pedro's in here. He's volunteering himself to get sheared, I think. I think we can go ahead and just take him out for a catch, clean, cook. But what about that little brown one? Does that thing need anything, or is that already sheared? Yeah. You tell me. I can shear them if you want. Sure. I, whatever, whatever. You tell me. I just want to make sure they're comfortable, you know? Yeah. Okay, this guy definitely needs it. He's okay. All right, well we'll we'll do that. So we got two sheep and then uh, the alpaca and the llama, and, and we should be good to go. So hopefully it goes nice and smooth. Yeah, I know we're gonna get the wool off you. You're gonna feel nice and comfortable. You're gonna be looking nice and slim. You're gonna be feeling great. You're gonna take off all all that wool. Anyways, we're gonna get to sharing. You guys stay tuned. Wrangling time, boys. Where's Banjo? When you I was need him. Say, where's Banjo's right? the old wrangler. Pedro, I'll throw you out there too. <laughs> Oh, yeah, got her. Got her. Pedro? Pedro? <laughs> oh, that was a smooth one. You're getting better. Oh, right, right in the Ralph. Okay. He got I got mom. the turkey. He got big mom. Time to get to shear. You want to run a stroke or two on it? Not qualified? No, I'm not qualified for this now. <laughs> Beefcake shearing. Uh, Getting the old fade cut. You're, ne you're next. <laughs> I could use a haircut. <laughs> no, I was saying you're on the Clippers. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> It cannot move as long as you got your toe under the front leg there. Really? Yep. <laughs> Pat it, tell it to get up. <laughs> wait, wait, huh? wait, where's it? Where's your Put foot? Put your toe right under the front leg like that. You cannot get up. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Pat it, tell it. As soon as you move your front leg. She's out. She's out. <laughs> Yeah, I know. She looks way different. That is crazy how different she looks. Well, we got one down. We're gonna give the the baby doll a little trim up. Yeah. That way she doesn't go. Wool, you call it wool blind? Yes. The wool will actually grow around and cover the wow. eyes so they can't see. Yeah, we don't. We don't want that. All right, let's go grab Junior. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Parkour! <laughs> All right, we got her. Steve! Come here, Steve. Where's he at? He's hiding. He, he's under the feeder. He's hiding. Oh, he's perfect. Hello. Hey, move it or lose it. Oh, really? I'll shear you. Move. I'm getting abused by my animals right now. Ralph, oh, kick his ass. Get out. Kick his ass. No. Oh, we got to sneak up on Steve. He's. I think we can sneak up on him. Uh, he's, eating, he's, eating, he's eating grain under the feeder. He's, eating. he's gonna get him. Here you go. Wait, why, why was that so easy? Steve, 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 you're coming with us, Steve. All right, come on, Riff. All right. Steve! He's not happy. He's spitting. He's Steve, Steve. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, Steve. Here, I can uh, try to get this. Hey, Steve, don't you? There we go. Okay. Steve, you're so nice. Llama? Ain't gonna be this easy. Uh, no. No, she can put up a fight. Uh, All right. Little lamb smells oh, hey, like Steve? standing there. Oh, right. Steve? Yeah. Bite me, I'll bite you. Steve? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve. That's enough, Steve. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw! 
get ready to ride this ride, cowboy. Steve, you're looking like a new man, buddy. Left the old mullet, got him fly sprayed. There. That's it. See ya. <laughs> Look at that yeah, he looks funny. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? We need to, how possible is it to halter the llama and then drag her over here? I mean, we can probably get her over here without haltering it. Just, just, just drag try her. to get her over here? But then, I mean, it'd be easier just to halter it here, I think. Okay, I'm gonna untie this so it's at least it's ready. I remember watching the video. She jumps and kicks oh, and really? yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's ugly. So you can get her to this side without getting killed by the camel. He got rowdy a second yeah, he ago. Alright, let's go get the llama. Uh, I think my bodyguard comes with me. <laughs> Come on, llama. Come on. She just goes dead weight on you. Why? <laughs> Would it be better to lead her? I mean, I can try and lead her. I'm not sure how much she'll want to actually lead. Want to play? Oh, God. Don't oh, get my ass kicked. <laughs> it just looks like she doesn't even know what's going on. Let's have a buck. Last two years is way worse. Woo! <laughs> was it? Llama's been raining. She's done. Good job, buddy. It ain't too bad, huh? All right, let's get her sheared. Bingo. Llama's looking good. We got them all sheared up. That didn't take too long. We're here about eight, about an hour, hour and hour and a half or so. Llama, you ready to go, buddy? You did a lot better than your boyfriend, Steve. Steve's not about the shearing life, no. There. There you go. Look at her. She looks naked. <laughs> she does. That neck's get skinny. Get Llama. Oh, God. She looks like a giraffe. She does. All right, let's see if we can get her back over with everybody else. Steve and, Steve and Carlos were boxing a little bit. I think they got a haircut, and I think Carlos was maybe a little jealous. Carlos was showing but, off, too. You forget how small they are. Yeah. Well, I'm, you want to go to the other side? You can go to the other side? Maybe she wants to stay here? I guess. I don't know. You want to hang out? I mean, she'd be probably pretty nice to the sheep, honestly. Yeah, she'd be right. You want to hang out over here with the sheep? I'd say her and Steve could honestly hang out over here. They'd be just fine. We could separate her and, and Steve. Carlos Steve! And Steve! Oh, Steve's come look. Steve, your girlfriend. Steve! Your girlfriend's over here, Steve. I mean, yeah, we, should we see if we can get Steve over here? I bet he'll come over because Lama's I think Steve would be nice to all the sheep. He, Steve's chill. They keep him that way, we'll just, that way, yeah. That way, there's just one less nut person over there and Steve oh, I don't know how we're gonna get him over here I know, he's a... oh you hear him yeah. he goes huh oh yeah huh well I'm trying to get yeah. I want him to go that way a little more so we can show and then you got that guy that guy <laughs> Hey! Ruthless. Hey! No! How are they doing? Look at them! This might be the best combo. We less animals over here, more over here. As long as they're nice to the sheep, we should be in business. Shoo! Alrighty, folks. Well, we are at the dealership, and it is time to say goodbye to... No, I'm actually keeping this truck. This is an additional vehicle. Potentially might sell 
Papa Beefcake's truck. We'll see, we're not really sure, but we needed a big Mamma Jamma, so we showed up at, this is Sid Dillon Chevrolet in Fremont, Nebraska, and uh, Chase Dillon, he was the gentleman who was helping me, super nice guy, he's out of town today, but he got it all lined up, so shout out to Chase for getting it all lined up. When You can't find vehicles right now, as you guys know, if any of you guys have ever looked for a truck in the last like three months, it's impossible. Called up Chase said, I need a big Sheila, a wide load banjo, something that can haul a heavy load, and within, I think, three weeks, we got a super sick, brand spanking new Dually. I've never even driven a Dually in my entire life, so I hopefully I like it. But this is a Chevy Duramax. We got the Allison transmission. High Country 3500. And uh, Chase went ahead and already put in the blacked out emblems, blackout out emblems. So already is looking nice and sharp. We got the blacked out Chevy emblem there. And same thing kind of on this side. But we got the steps. They already put the mats in it. They tinted the windows. I mean, they got it ready. She's yeah. sexy. She's good. She's they, good looking the rig. thing is, like, I, I buy trucks, not all the time. I bought a handful of trucks. They always just come looking stock and whatever. And Chase went ahead and he ordered everything for me to make this. So it's like it's turnkey. It's ready to rock and roll. So, I mean, we've already got the high grade floor mats. Like I said, the tinted windows. We got the gooseneck ball hitch attachment. Basically, they got everything in at one time. So when I come here to pick it up, that's what always happens. I buy the truck. I'm like, man, I got to go take it in. Then you got to drop it off for two days. And then they install it. And then they forgot a part. And you have to to order it and you don't have a truck i should this is the first time i ever in my life of all the cars i've bought i've bought several where i show up in the truck is turnkey ready to rock and roll so huge shout out to sid dylan they ship cars nationwide so even if you're not in fremont nebraska even though this is a great town don't you know that oh yeah that's where i'm from jake's like where jake's from here he says he likes it so even if you're not from here but you need a vehicle the plug is sid dylan there'll be a website link down in the description down below you can hit them up inquire about it. like i said they'll ship vehicles across the entire country but they're the only dealership that had any sort of inventory so so if you guys are in like me looking for vehicles at a time where there's zero vehicles available they, they have a chance of helping you guys out um, but we're gonna give you guys a walk around this thing it's bougie it's fancy I didn't even ask for the high country I was like just give me something he's like I got the high country I said hey you don't tempt me with a good time being all bougie and whatnot so we got uh crawl in this bad boy but look sheesh we got calf skin brown leather I don't know what that is but it looks nice <sighs> Oh, it smells amazing. What's going on in here? There's a lot of buttons. Wow, let's give her the old start. Oh, she sounds mean, ladies and gentlemen. We got the AC on, it's freaking hotter than Sarah does out here. All right, so button-wise, you're big. Well, you have a GMC, but that's yeah, similar. It's very similar. You get, first, you gotta, it's hot out, so you gotta get that one on. AC booty, yeah. oh my gosh, this is gonna hey, be feeling great. This is the case, Jake just lets one rip. Just, really? Just a smelly old oh, fart. All four? Yeah. No, that's you, Banjo. Banjo yeah. squeaks one out. You, that's, the, that's the ejecto, uh, roll down the window uh, button. But you, and then you gotta roll them up manually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing's got all the bells and whistles. It's freaking crazy. First off, check this thing out. You guys ready for this? It's a camera. You can see inside <laughs> can the building. There's a camera. And then you can even like zoom. Yeah, that's the, yeah, there's zoom yeah. there. And then there should be. Uh, that's your up and down right yeah, there. Yeah, you can change it. That's Look at crazy. that. easy. I've it's a literal camp. I've, I've never, never seen that before. Never, that's heard of that. never in my life have I seen that. Oh yeah, it's freaking. Get this. Oh, oh, this ba oh banjo. Wait, you want to you want to do the honors? Oh, you want me to? Satisfying. Let's see it. Ah! Wow. Look at that. She ain't new no more. No, she ain't new. We broke her right in. Here? What's going on here? <laughs> you see that big mamma jam? The whole ball. That's a, that's a unit. Yeah, I like that. So that's, they got they got the kit yeah, ready. So, so we're, we're ready to hopefully get a trailer and get uh, the tractor down at the ranch. That's the plan. That's what, so that's what we got. This. You guys might be like, Flair, why are you getting another truck? You have so many other cars. We don't have a dually, and we have heavy equipment. We've got tractors, we have skid loaders, we have excavators. We want something that can haul more than one thing at one time. Right now, we can only haul one skid loader, one excavator, one attachment. You know, we've got a trailer that can barely hold two side-by-sides at once, so we need a big old gooseneck, like a 30, 32-footer. Is this thing going, or is, am I still I'm, sweating? I turned the AC on Oh, okay, now. I was like, I'm still sweating in here. Now, oh, that the feels. The fan speed's on low. Too. Oh, yeah, I didn't want it too loud for you. Uh, Pretty quiet though. Yeah, it is quiet. So that's we're getting it for Beefcake Construction LLC. So we can haul equipment. That way, if it's like, hey, we need the skid loader and a side by side and a four wheeler, we can throw it all at once and haul it down the road. And Dooley's, I feel like, are safer. You know, they they can hold a little bit more. They get worse gas mileage and their the rides less convenient. But this is our 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 haul truck. So that way, I don't have to use my personal truck to be hauling stuff all the time. I can have a nice. I'm thinking about getting a new truck. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have to talk to my boys here and see what they have in stock. This is my, I've never owned a Chevy. I don't think I've ever even really, I mean, I've driven a Chevy, maybe like somebody told me to move his truck somewhere, but I've never actually like driven a Chevy. Yeah. So it's my first time ever driving. So we'll let you guys know, but there's so many. You gotta show them the tailgate thing. Oh, the drop? 
Yeah, let's turn uh, the camera on the tailgate first. Let's see. There okay. You go. Yep. And then you press Ready? this button, and it and it look it drops the tailgate. But wait, but wait. I know you're like hey, all the trucks do that. So but mine, wait, mine does that. but yeah. Mine doesn't do but this. But watch this. It lifts the tailgate back up. That is. List it back. I've never seen That's that. Nuts. That's, That's I've crazy. always seen them go down. I've never seen them go back. So it's got heated steering wheel, heated seats, cooled seats. Um, it doesn't have the massagers though, Banjo. I'm sorry. I tried. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I tried. I mean, you know, this is a work truck, right? Four wheel drive. It's got all, what other bells and it, Oh, it's got mode. electric e brake, which was interesting. Mm. Like, uh, you normally it's a pedal, it's just a button, which I thought was rather interesting, for, especially for a big What's one. The exhaust? Brake exhaust, that's for towing. It'll like mm. slow your engine down. Oh, okay, okay. If you got it's a like big a, a big load, yeah, yeah like basically like a D cell. But yeah, I mean, it's got the 360, 360 cameras. Oh, that, that one, that's that a 360 one. camera. Yeah. And then, oh, what's going on here? Then you can zoom in behind on the trailer. I've wow. never seen that one oh, before. Oh, it shows you where your wheels are, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, I need that because this is That's a, cool. a, little this a big Sheila. Warm too. Oh, this guy right here? Yeah. Oh. oh, there's the bed light. That's yeah, that's you the nice. tailgate. And then you thing. zoom in, and it's like, yeah. boom, for your gooseneck. And then this one. And then that's, oh, my that's gosh. That's pitch. right over the top. That's crazy. Most of them are at, like, an angle. angle that's yeah. straight That's straight POV with the drone right there. Oh, you literally crazy. hook up any trailer without ever having to, like, get out of your truck. No, you, you, should, be, you should be ready to rock and roll. You see that's the sides? Yeah, yeah, it's got all. Oh, the other thing, it's got a compartment for my gap. Check this out. He showed me this. I said, this is definitely where I'm putting the old. Tucked away, concealed. Bam! Not for it's only for dispatching raccoons, you know, not for anything else. But how's the how's the seat room? Pretty insane. I got the old honestly. crew because I said because he originally had a regular cab. I said I got the boys. We got to get the leg room. So I you're like you're dialed. Plenty room. You got plenty plenty of room back. I mean it's it's nice and clean. It's already line X where all they got all the stuff. What's going on? All the rubber floor mats. Yeah. After the back for you too. Yep. Because we're gonna get this. We're gonna we're gonna get it running boards. They've even got this step, which is super nice. I'm constantly getting up into the back of the truck. Um, I'll just give you a quick a quick walk around here. I mean, she is slick. I mean, look at the black emblems. It's all blacked out. It's looking freaking fresh. She's a, she got a thick old booty on her, too. She's, she's a wide load. I said, I've never driven one before, so we're going to go. We got food canes around here. Yeah. We're going to go get some food, and I'll give you guys an update after I drive it just a little bit here to see. I want to see how much power it has. Can this thing do burnout? <laughs> or is there too much traction with two uh, wheels? I doubt it. I'll give her hell. We're going to run to uh, let's go get food. I'll give you guys an update on how it tows. Like I said, the goal today is to get, or today or in this video for that matter, I need to call the trailer place. We need to find a gooseneck trailer, big old long daddy, and get the tractor and take it to the ranch so we can do farm things. That's that's the plan right now. So you ready, Banjo? Oh, yeah. You right, you riding with me? Yeah. You taking the old? I'll take the old rig. <laughs> take the old rig? Yeah. All right, Jake's taking the old rig. Wow, this does feel pretty good. We got to see what this sucker's made of. You know how I put her in drive? Nah. Yo, I've never driven a wide load like this. She's kind of sad. It doesn't have a sport mode. It's off road. Really? Yeah, no I sport know. mode? What the heck? Um, all right, let me adjust my mirrors. See that big old booty back there. Sheesh, buddy. What was that buddy. cool thing like, they're telling you about like the windshield? Oh, oh, I here, I can. They, will they be able well, to see it? Well, you maybe? might. Um, I don't even know whether you call it. What did, where did he touch that? It was over there on that side somewhere. The display, it's, a, it's called a heads up display. Where? Oh, HUD, heads up display. Yes. It's not gonna work, but basically it, they're in front of me. I know you can't see it, but I can see how fast I'm going. I can see lane departure. I can see the radio station. But it's in the windshield. Yeah. I, I, you, you trust me. It's called HUD, heads up display. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's like it's like over here and it's gone. But it's yeah, you guys, you guys literally can't see it. But I can. It's in the windshield. It's so weird. So I don't so have to look don't at have my to dash. Look down. You can, you can just drive looking. and you're just looking at never it. Never so. distracted. Yeah, HUD. Jeez, and rice. This thing's freaking. <laughs> I got. I sit up high when I drive. You do that. No. You don't like sitting uh, high? I like to lean back a little. Well, no, I lean back, oh, but okay. I like you sitting. Like, yeah. So I like being see. high, so yeah, I can okay, actually okay. You see how big this sucker yeah. is? Oh, now I'm just, now we're cruising. I think it'll do a burnout if we try. Oh, God, yeah. Look at look at that. Let's see the wheels. Sheesh, the old chromey. I thought about the only, that's the only thing I thought of, and I wasn't going to, you know, I wanted to see it first. To be honest, I never even looked at this before we showed up, and because I, I, Chase was just like, "Just trust me, it's gonna look sweet." He's like, "We're gonna get it all outfitted." And uh, shout out to you, it does look sweet. I mean, they even got this doohickey. He's gonna wear sunglasses. That's nice. I like that. But if we got like blacked out wheels, yeah, it, that's ooh. what me and Jake were talking about. This thing would be me. Thing. So we might we might look into that. Yeesh. She does ride a hair rougher than my truck because it's the suspension is stiff for towing. So it's supposed to be a little rougher when you're not towing, but when you're towing, it's supposed to be the deal. That's all this is for. This isn't my daily. The only time I'm really going to take this is if we have a heavy load. I want to give me this. Yeah, look at that. 
That's a look at this thing. This is crazy. So crazy. You can just see behind you as you're driving. All right, what's the MPG on this sucker? That's what I'm after. I'm tired. My truck, I got 9.5 getting here today. Why? Couldn't tell you. Diesel's freaking 550 a gallon. It cost me $200 just to get to this place. We're gonna give her, give her some hell here. You ready? She's got, oh 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 that oh it just vibrated my ass. That was Why? weird. That was my my nuts were tingling right there. That was weird. What'd you do? It was telling me I was about to hit Jake. Oh. I don't think I was though. But it, dude, it, my butt, like my nuts were just burr, burr, like your phone goes. Burr, 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 you like burr. that? Kind of want to get closer to Jake. <laughs> how do I how do I get it further back? Uh, that oh here one. it is. Yeah. Okay. Gap yeah. adjustment. That was the weirdest sensation. Like so it looked like somebody took like a little taser to your nuts. All right. So don't 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 let like you tailgate. I gotta figure out how do you how do you figure out the MPG in this sucker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two point one miles per gallon. Okay, can I reset it? I think if I hold that, I bet yeah. I can reset. It. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna reset it. I my fingers crossed. If it's better than twelve, it's better than my truck. Yeah, that's what I was kind of guessing to be something around there. I'd... Twelve, which is so bad, but it's like for towing, it's just part of it. But that's the reason why we're talking about getting new vehicles because gas is so high right now. Get this truck. You only drive this sucker when you're loaded down. Otherwise, we're getting Teslas. No, probably not. But we need vehicles. Like, my truck gets, like, 10 miles to the gallon. It's not efficient. Papa Beefcake's truck gets, like, 13. Not efficient. So we were like, let's just consolidate it. Let's get one big beefcake rig. And then everyone else should drive economical, fuel-efficient cars. Yeah. Because it's too expensive. I mean, I'm getting 13 right now. It's, it's going to be a hard... Town, in town, it's kind of a hard test. I mean, I... I'm guessing it'll average out around 10, 12 to 13, which is literally three gallons, three miles per gallon better than my car. And my car's not a dually. It can't tow 30,000 pounds like this car can. So if it's just better than my personal truck, it gives it gets a thumbs up from me. So anyways, we're gonna go grab some food. Uh, we're gonna take this thing home, maybe go find a trailer hopefully. And we'll give you guys a recap of what the final MPG was, um, kind of all that stuff. The only other thing that I think about adding to this, which I added to my truck and Papa Beefcakes, is in a larger gap. Oh, I'm blocking the intersection. A larger gas tank so this thing only had like a 250 mile range that gets me nowhere in life mine i i need like pop beefcakes i think can go like eight nine hundred it's like a 55 gallon fuel tank so i think the strat maybe would be replace the fuel tank and get some black wheels let me see if i can not hit this curb i'm gonna have to remember this sucker's just she's thick she's wide so comment down below what else should we add to this thing i think black black rims would be cool we might need a little beefier tires i mean like these are highway tires, so I don't really want to have to go to like some mud tires. Like I said, the idea is if we're thinking we're going to go get in the mud, don't take this thing. Go take my personal truck. Go take some other one's truck. This is just to get heavy equipment from point A to B, the most fuel efficient and safe way possible. So we're going to grab some food. We'll see you guys at the house. Shoo! All right, folks, been a couple days and we are at the farm. We got to move the tractor, breaking in the new truck, and bam, we got a new trailer. This is a, uh, a, a uh, gooseneck trailer with uh 12k axles i believe there was a ton of 10ks i said no give me the 12k big big boy so we got the old double axle double wheel there's a lot of wheels there's eight on here and this is a 30 i want to say it's 34 feet with the ramps closed so that, you know all the way the whole thing's 34 feet so there's the rig we already got her picked up uh we had this plan for a while not the truck but trying to get a trailer because i've got another truck that can tow a gooseneck but the fact that this thing's a dually today we're really gonna put it to the test so now you can see i mean the rig is here the rig is ready it's looking really nice so we are gonna go into the farm shed and we can finally get the tractor out i've been waiting to get the truck waiting to get the trailer we're a little bit behind as far as you know getting some of these food plots ready at the ranch but we got we got most of them there's only a couple left that we still have to shred so we're gonna get the tractor loaded up today we'll literally put it to the test we just cut the truck and right away we're already gonna put it to the test can this sucker tow a tractor on the gooseneck and it also it rained there's a little lake the field is like a lake right now so everything's soaked everything's wet everything's muddy so honestly well it's gonna be put to the test today so anyways let's get the tractor Shoo! all right look at the nice skylight i like that yeah this barn's good no you, you like uh no i like the skylight action skylights skylights now look at the tractor sheesh i haven't oh, man i haven't seen this bad boy and we put it in away for storage in probably october october november december january february march a long time six seven months just this thing's just been sitting here so we're gonna get her we're gonna get her loaded up got the old ducks trailer in here besides the fact that my roof is gone this is a nice this is a nice shed you can store a lot of stuff in here so what do you think the odds are bet big boy starts oh i think she's you think she'll, you think she'll get her you want to grab that you want to grab the door yeah. 
I'm gonna get in the old big shit. Man, I missed this tractor. I bought this sucker. Oh, we put the mice repelling in here. It smells like ass. I missed this tractor. I haven't driven this bad boy in a long freaking time. All right, where's the, oh, there's the key. Hang on. Wow, who's been blowing the AC? Sucker's got 34 hours on it. Honestly, more than I thought. All right, let's shut the door. Oh. All right, you boys ready? Like it hadn't been sin for seven months. That's what I'm saying. Holy crap. I don't remember how to use this sucker. Why am I so freaking close to the... All right, so this... Uh, and that's that, yeah. So let's go ahead and get her in one, probably. We're in... Oh, that might be D for freaking fast. Is there a brake on this sucker? Oh, get my bucket up. There you go. Oh, we're getting it. Oh, I love driving tractors. It's been so... I hate working with tractors. Like, the loader, I think, is like the most inconvenient thing on planet earth but i i enjoy operating tractors how much am, am i looking good back there oh hang on hey how's that going good i forgot i can talk to you back here oh yeah you got the old rear yeah i like this i love tractors actually i hate tractors but i enjoy i enjoy driving am i good yeah all right pull her out oh easy killer easy easy it's gonna be nice get the tractor back to the ranch where it belongs it's about an hour from here so it's a, we'll, we'll put on the miles we will put the new trailer to the test as far as uh hauling the trailer the truck I'll, I'll give you a full report i'll be honest too if this truck sucks i'll let you know but so far you wouldn't even know there's a gooseneck attached to this sucker i'm pretty sure this trailer weighs like uh, seven thousand pounds so a lot i mean and i like I said i don't even hardly notice that it's there so we're gonna get this sucker i think i'm gonna back i think i'm gonna back this sucker on I think I, when I brought it down here, I backed it on. I liked backing it on better because I felt like I was not going to flip, which is, you know, a, usually a good thing. I'm going to try backing it on. I think, I don't know if that's the proper way of doing it, but it also you got to realize everything's wet, okay? The, the deck on it, the trailer's wet. Everything's soaking wet, so really today is not a good day to do what we're supposed to do. But when it's rainy like this, I'm like, well, we better just start getting, you know, stuff from point A to point B. I mean, that's really what the priority is right now. So, here were the old shift. Oh, God, yeah. We're, we're getting her. You're getting her going here. Back it up, Terry. Hopefully I don't slip off and fall. I really don't feel like rolling this tractor today. That would not be all that enjoyable. So anyways, wish me luck. Shannon. Really? I don't like this. <laughs> Why not? trying to get her I don't know how to get it four wheel I try oh. I hit a button is that, is that four wheel or no I don't know your tractor all right straight yeah good yeah keep going I know. I wasn't sure about that. We should be all right, though. Yeah. I wanted to shut yeah. these before. Yeah. I think you're about so, right. So, I mean, yeah. Do you want more over the axles or no? You think? Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of a gooseneck is to be able to put weight. I think you're fine. You got the heavy part. Yeah, those tires, we deflated them so they wouldn't slip on that. So we just need to inflate them. All right, let's look these up. How hard is this? It's not too hard. The springs are pretty tight, so they go up pretty easy. <laughs> Bam! Just like that. If I was DOT, what would I be saying right now? I mean, yeah, look at this. Good, not good. A little more on the axles. Or what do you think? Yeah, the engine and the tractor's up front. Yeah, which, which is, is the heavy axle, part, yeah. But the tractor's got a pretty big heavy butt in. On the, yeah. So it's like, I don't know. Like, I wonder if, should the wheel, that wheel, be over the back wheel so then the rest of the weight is still forward? That's what I'm wondering. I say we leave it right where she is. Let's see how it goes. I mean, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? I mean, I mean the truck ain't even squatted, so I ain't worried about that. One Google search would probably tell us if we're doing this 
I mean, most people load it on the axles. That's the yeah, point. That's you, but I look, but it's it's centered in the trailer, which I think is is a good thing too. Yeah. So you have to comment down below. I think I say we leave it. I don't think the truck doesn't even look like there's anything on it. That thing hadn't squatted at all. One thing I know is if anything's gonna go wrong, it's there's too much weight in the back and it starts fishtailing your truck. Now, a gooseneck should help that a lot. Usually it's the bumper pulls because the bumper pull will pull the back your back tires up so there's not enough basically traction. Right now, I feel like the way it's pushing down on that, I don't wanna make less weight on the truck because I don't want too much weight in the back. I, th I don't think you can have too much weight towards the truck. Well, I'm sure you can, yeah. But as far as like us rolling and dying, mm -hmm. I don't think can happen if there's more weight towards there. And right now, I think there's more weight on that side of the axles that's, than that side. That's what I was thinking. Too. So I, I say we leave it. One way, I'd hedge it towards the no, truck. No, oh, I, I always push towards away. the truck. Yeah. I, I, normally, I probably would have bumped it up so the, 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 the engine. So should we center the engine over the axles or cheat it towards the truck? Because I know you ain't supposed to go the other way. And if you comment that, you're lying. All right, anyways, we're gonna get a chain down. See you guys at the ranch. down to the ranch folks oh does that mean my keys are in it did it just lock me out would you imagine will. that will it will lock me oh they're somewhere in there well we made it we got the tractor unloaded she's look how nice she looks she's she's where she belongs the ranch well that yeah uh yeah there it is that's the old classic well i hey said dylan i appreciate uh your business working together on this deal and i am sorry about the truck looking already uh, like a work truck but hey that's what it's for, right? Working, getting work done. I mean, that's a nice new trailer there. Yeah, brand brand new trailer. That's gonna dry like concrete. That'll be nice uh, to scrape off later. But that's what happens when it pours rain? But I will say, towed like a freaking champ. You'd hardly even know there's a tractor behind us. The only time that you knew is when we were hitting in, the, getting in the mud, and then you started sliding around a little bit. But even with just straight highway tires, we didn't. We made it. I mean, you guys saw the roads. I mean, they were just caked in mud. I mean, we've gotten like five, six inches of rain. So, I mean, today was like, it's probably one of those things like, yeah, this is like the test, but I don't want it to be any worse. You know, I don't want the roads to be any worse than that, but the trailer held up. I think everything, everything turned out fine on the trailer. I was happy, happy with the trailer and happy with this guy. He said, towed like a freaking dream. That was the first time I've ever hauled with a gooseneck. That's the first time I've ever pulled a gooseneck. And then I threw the tractor on it, which is like the first time I've ever hauled the really, really hauled the tractor. My dad hauled it last time. So first time I've ever hauled the tractor, first time I've ever towed with a gooseneck, first time I'm ever driving a dually. We had a lot of firsts in this video, but I, was, I mean, I didn't crash nothing. I didn't break nothing somehow. I don't know. I, all I know is Sheila, Big Sheila. I think that's what we got to call this girl. Big Sheila. Big Sheila needs a car wash now. She's down and dirty, but we, we parked the trailer there so that way we can pivot and shoot out of the ranch. We just have to be careful. Even though you've got, you know, more tires, it's it's heavy. The saying is she's not light. So when it's muddy, you got to be careful, especially with a big old trailer like this. Like this, the trailer, I think, does it say what this trailer weighs? I guess it weighs like six, 5,000. No, that's kgs. I don't speak that. Uh, 12,000 per axle. 11,000, 25, nine is your gross. Hmm. A lot. I think it weighs like six or 7,000 pounds. So either way, without even without loaded. So I think with the tractor, I mean, we, uh, we, were, we were hauling, you know, I don't know, pulling 15,000 pounds, something like that. I don't, I don't something like that. I think it's close, close to that. Anyways, Red got torp a little bit with the tractors here and we got a new truck. I said, Big Sheila is what I'm thinking. Big shout out to Sid Dillon. I said, if you guys need a truck, even if you don't live in you know, near Omaha, Nebraska or whatever, uh, they ship them all across the country. They were able to get me the work truck that I needed very quickly. I got lucky on this one, but you might get lucky too. So like I said, link down below. Um, you have to go check that out, see if they've got any vehicles for you. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Again, we didn't break nothing. We got a lot of firsts done today. Overall, it was a good day. Now the tractor's at the ranch. We can start getting to work. Get that work done. We did, in fact, get some food plots in, uh, but there's some other, actually that plot, there's a plot right up on the hill that needs shredded. So maybe in a future video, you'll see us. Once it dries out, get in the tractor, go grab the shredder, get her shredder, get her sprayed, get her tilled, get her planted with sunflowers. That right there is gonna be the number one dove plot in the county. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you in the next one, and peace.